Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Louis Vuitton Cabas Piano Bag. Um, this bag seems to be really hard to find any sort of reviews on or pictures on or anything. I feel it's almost like this bag is just gone. Um, I, I don't ever see anybody carrying it and whenever I'm looking to find anything on the bag like I just wanted to find some random reviews on it or to look at the beautiful pictures of people carrying them. I really can't find anything. I've searched it on YouTube and I think I've only found like maybe five videos and on Instagram maybe a total seriously like 80 pictures or something. There really isn't much on this bag. So I'm going to go ahead and do a review on it for anybody that might be looking to purchase this bag or just would like to look at it since... <laughs> It's really, I feel like it's never seen anymore. So um, let's get started. It comes in this dust bag. And it's not, it's a big dust bag, but the bag itself is not very big. This is the bag. Mine is nine years old. I got it a long time ago. Um, and it's pretty dark. It shows some wear on mine. Um, let's see. It is... The length is 11 inches, the height is 9, the depth on the side is 5, and then the strap drop is 9 inches. So, this is the bag. This is what it would look like. I'm 5'5", five five. this is what it looks like. So, there you go. So, it looks really nice on. This is not my favorite bag. When I got this bag, I didn't know much about Louis Vuitton. I didn't know much about the straps or anything. Um, and I didn't carry very much stuff. So, in a way, when I bought it, it was the perfect bag for me. But now, it just it doesn't carry enough. The structure, it's, um, it's way too structured. So, I do have a few drawbacks. I'll get a little into it a little bit more um, a little bit later. Let me go over the bag first. Um, it has two pieces of canvas. It has the one in the front, the one in the back. Can't really tell which side's the front because it's the same thing on both sides. It has one large piece of a kettle leather on the bottom. Mine isn't very even. Like I said, I've had it for a really long time. I've never put anything on it. The only ding I seem to have is this right there, which I have no idea what I did, but it's not... It looks like it's indented or like it might peel, but it's actually flat. So, so for this being nine years old, that's really not that bad. I probably, if I got some sort of leather cleaner, it would probably look a lot better. But it comes up on the side, on both sides. The side part, I guess, goes in a little bit. But the bottom, it bends a little bit, but it's actually really hard. It looks like it's bending more, but it's, it's pretty hard. It is attached by the Baquetta leather up here, and it has the brass squares on each side. They feel so much better than a lot of the new bags. All the hardware on this bag is heavier. I feel like comparing these to any new one that I have, these feel more like the quality is better. The strap, mine is super dark, it's patinaed quite a bit. And they are about an inch thick. So, and they are the flat ones. Um, I don't care for these straps. They are really, really pretty. I really, really like how they look. However, when you wear them on your shoulder, one side always falls off. They're not like the Neverfull, where they're thinner and they really stay on. These just seem to, since I think they have to overlap each other, one's constantly falling off your shoulder. So that's something that I really do not like. The closure is a zip closure, and the pull has LV on either end. I'm not sure if you can really see that. And it's nice and thick and heavy, and the zipper is really nice. Inside is just one big bucket bag. So you can see there is one cell phone pocket, or one pocket, which is the old kind, and people say that they can't fit their cell phones. I have an iPhone 5, I think fits in there no problem. So actually with, with room to spare you put something behind it if you want to. There is one D-ring and this is actually nicer than the D-ring on my 
uh, Speedy Bandolier. It's thicker, heavier, and it just feels a lot nicer. And it's held on by a piece of Vaquetta leather. On the bottom is my date stamp. I think on the newer versions, which this bag is discontinued, but the newer version after mine, the stamp is actually in the zipper pocket. Let's see, there is one zipper pocket, and my bag was made in the USA and they put the stamp on there before they started putting the flimsy tags. And the zipper pull is the same as on the outside, so it's a nice thick leather. And it has, let's see, it doesn't have a lot of room. This pocket is actually really small. You can barely fit anything in here. So I don't really care for that. Um, okay, so the things that I really don't like about this bag is it is too structured. You can't hold anything in it. I got this after I got my Speedy 25, which I felt that that didn't hold enough, but at the time it, it was really okay. And I switched a lot between this bag and that bag after I purchased it. And it just, it's too structured. It just doesn't, it doesn't hold anything. Everything goes at the bottom of the bag, and then if you want to add more stuff, it's really like you're piling it on top instead of it, you know, you being able to like move it around. Um, this bag did come in, I believe, three sizes. This is the piano, so this is the smallest. There's the Cabas Mezzo, which is the bigger one, which now I really wish I would have got because it, the size is just so much better and it holds so much more. And it's probably closer to the Neverfull MM, which I absolutely love and holds everything. And then there was the Cabas Alto, which I think is way too big. Um, and I don't think that that one had a zipper at the top either, so I think that that one just set open, but I'm not 100% positive. They did, at, before they discontinued this, they changed it again. They were, because I think they started doing, if there's a zipper on top, the pocket inside is just a slip pocket. And if there's no zipper on top, then there's a zipper closure. But luckily when I bought mine, there's a zipper closure. I always like there to be a zipper one. I mean, I guess I really don't care, but if I could choose, I think that they should always put a zipper one in there because it's just another way to secure your bag if you don't want to close it. Um, if you pack this bag really full, I think then it starts looking better. <laughs> now it sounds kind of weird because I like slouchy bags. So when you pack it full, it looks a little bit better. A slouch is a little bit more, but it is harder to get your stuff in and out of. Something else I do not like about this bag, when you're carrying it, this seems, this is really hard. The edges on this bag are really hard. So if you are carrying this like this and you're shopping, this constantly does this. I've gone shopping and used this bag all day, you know, you're carrying your stuff around. This ends up leaving like a really red mark on my arm and it just doesn't look right to carry it on the crook of your arm. The, the drop is just a little too big for that. There are just too many drawbacks on this bag and I, if I were to go back now, I would have got the Cabas Mezzo, but I, for some reason I can't part with this bag. I can't make myself get rid of it. Now let me show you what fits in here. You can put a makeup bag. Usually, if I'm just carrying this for like a day, I'll put the makeup bag in here. If not, I'll put everything that's in here in the zip pocket so that I can put more stuff in the bag. But for now, I'll just put that in there. I have the Sarah wallet, um, a little pocket agenda. I put my clay on my D-ring in here. I'm gonna set that on the side. You put your, I put my glasses, my cell phone, and some lotion. And that is what it looks like after you put all that in there. Whoops, that doesn't fly out of there. That's what it looks like. And that fills up the whole bottom of the bag. So if you wanted to put anything extra in there, you're really just gonna start stacking. So everything will just start stacking on top. And then I feel like if you wanna get something out, you have to like pull it out and then rearrange your whole bag just to put your stuff back in it. And to me, that is just such a pain in the butt. I don't know. So I do love to carry this if I'm just carrying it for just like a day or so. I'll pull it out because it's so pretty. Like, I really love how it looks. And it looks good on. And it just looks good sitting there and being pretty. This bag is very, very pretty. But if you do not like stru structured bags, I, I wouldn't get it. If you like to carry too much stuff, I wouldn't get it. Unless you can downsize and carry a lot less stuff, it's just, for, I would feel that that would not be the best bag. 
They do have it on fashion file right now. I believe they've got them for like $4.95. Um, when I got this bag nine years ago, I think I paid $800 for it. I don't know if it came in any other prints because at the time I was like, if I'm going to spend $800 on a bag, it's going to have the LVs all over it. I didn't even know that they made other prints. And at the time I was very into the LVs and having the pretty leather. So, um, I know a lot of people have said how they worry about the bottom of their bag if there's a lot of vachetta leather or vachetta, however you say that, but, um, I didn't ever worry about mine because I didn't know, like, about it being, like, discolored or anything. All I was looking at was the bag like this, but I've taken this bag. I've set it down lots of places. I don't put it on the floor. I don't put any bag on the floor. I think that's gross, but I've put it everywhere. I've taken it a lot of places. When I first bought it, I did use it for, like, pretty much a year, I think, um, sometimes switching between this and the Speedy 25, but for using this for like a complete year and having this for as long as I've had it, it looks pretty good. And this is my favorite too. Even if I don't use this bag that often anymore, I just love looking at the straps. They are so pretty and so dark, and that's my favorite. This is more of the honey color I think that most people want to achieve, and then this, which it's not coming off as dark as it is, it's a little bit darker in person. But this is like after years of wear, what they start to look like. And I think it is just so beautiful. I think the darker it gets, the better. And for using this one so much, I don't know if you can tell, but even the inside, the, the vaquetta leather inside has even gotten darker. And I think it's very pretty. And being that it's made in the USA, I still don't have any problems with mine, none of my bags. Um, Cause I think a lot of mine are made in the USA. A lot of my small leather stuff, like I think my wallet, it's made in France, and it's tearing apart. So I don't know if there's a difference from where they're made because, you know, my USA things haven't fallen apart. Maybe it's because this is a little bit old, but it's coming apart. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. Um, feel free to ask anything. I know that there are not many reviews on this bag, so I tried to cover everything I could on it. It is a great bag if you like to if you don't carry very much then it is a wonderful bag for you but if, like I said if you carry too much then I would probably go with a bigger bag the mezzo would probably be a really good bag to carry um, if you like this review please click the like button below and I would love to hear your questions or comments if you have any hope everyone has a great day